in the first question we are going to start with the perspective projection of a rectangular block now read the question a rectangular block of 6 by 3 by 2 cm is lying on the ground on its largest face now what that means is we are having a rectangular block its length is given 6 cm its breadth is given 3 cm and its height is given 2 cm 6 by 3 by 2 now it is said that it is lying on its largest face now a rectangular block can lie in three manners either it can lie on its face 6 by 3 like this or it can lie on the face 3 by 2 like this or it can lie on the face 6 by 2 like this now it is said that it has to lie on its largest face that means it has to lie on the face 6 by 3 so automatically 6 will be its length 3 will be its breadth and 2 will be its height now in ortho in perspective projections also first we have to start with the orthographic projections that means we will be drawing the top view and front view of the solid but thing is we will be drawing the top view and front view in third angle projection okay now what is the difference between a first angle and a third angle now in first angle projection we were drawing top view below and front view above but in a third angle what we will be doing is we will be drawing top view above and front view below that is the only difference okay we are going to follow third angle projection here we will be drawing top view above and front view below okay so first we have to draw certain lines okay based upon the questions okay in perspective projections what I will be doing is I will be starting with a, a initially a horizontal line you need not take any specific length you can keep your paper vertical you need not take any specific length you just draw a long horizontal line okay leave some gap you draw another horizontal line now the distance that you have to leave bet between these two lines I shall explain as and when we draw the figure okay so I will be drawing two lines one two horizontal lines and I will be leaving some gap okay now actually this line represents the picture plane of our perspective projection okay because here we are going to draw the top view and here we are going to draw the front view okay here we'll be drawing top view here we'll be drawing front view now taking our old picture so this is our perspective projection if we are projection figure and this is our picture plane if I am viewing it from top this picture plane will be viewing it as a horizontal line even though this is a plane if I am viewing it from top I will be seeing only a, a horizontal line okay so this line represents our picture plane okay I am naming it as PP now as I said earlier here we are going to draw front view now this is our ground plane and if I am viewing it from front this is our ground plane if I am viewing it from front again I will be seeing this as a horizontal line so next I will be drawing another horizontal line and I will be naming it as ground line okay so I will be drawing two lines picture plane and ground line leave some gap I shall explain as and when I will be drawing the figure now the top view of the solid we have to draw above picture plane okay we know that from this figure we can understand that the solid should be behind the picture plane and the station point should be in front of picture plane so behind the picture plane we are going to draw the top view of the solid now read the question uh, we are having a rectangle block 6 by 3 by 2 it is lying on its largest face that means in top view we can see 6 and 3 now in the question it is said that a vertical edge is in picture plane a vertical edge is in picture plane means A1 the A1 edge should lie on picture plane ok so first I will be marking a point on picture plane I will be naming it as A1 now if only a vertical edge is touching picture plane this face has to make some angle with picture plane this face and this face has to make some angle with picture plane and it is given the question it is it is in the question the set is said that the largest the largest face containing that edge okay this edge is being contained by two faces a face of 6 cm and a face of 3 cm the largest face should be inclined at an angle 30 degree so from here I will be drawing a 30 degree line I will be drawing a 30 degree line the length I have to take here should be 6 cm okay this will be the next edge I will be naming it as B2 so I have got A1 I have got B2 from here I will be drawing perpendicular lines that means 90 degree lines this angle should be 90 degree I will be drawing 90 degree lines from A1 and B2 the length that you have to take here should be 3 centimeters okay and I will be completing the top view of the rectangle block A1 B2 this is C3 and this is D4 okay so first I drew the top view of the rectangle block one vertical edge is in picture plane and the edge containing the the face containing the edge should be inclined 30 degree to picture plane okay next I have to project all these points and draw the front view 
okay now for drawing the front view you project all these points vertically project all the points vertically till ground line i will be projecting all the points vertically till ground line and here i will be taking i will be getting the front view of the solid the height of the solid is 2 cm so from here i will be drawing a 2 cm line and then i will be drawing the front view of the rectangular block okay so front view in the sense this will be d dash 4 dash this will be a dash 1 dash this will be c dash 3 dash and this will be b dash 2 dash okay now next read the question again the question it is said that the station point the position of the station point is given the question okay it is said in the question it is said that the station point is 6 cm in front of picture plane 6 cm in front of picture plane and 4 cm above the ground okay this distance is given it is 6 cm this distance is given it is 4 cm okay next we are going to mark this distance and this distance okay coming on to this figure the station point is 6 cm in front of picture plane so from here i'll be drawing a, a, another horizontal line 6 cm in front this would be a very light line okay i am naming this line as locus of station point 6 cm in front of picture plane and then again the vertical distance is given that is 4 cm above the ground so from ground i'll be drawing another line that should be at a height of 4 cm above the ground okay now this is actually this line actually this is the horizon plane if i am viewing it from the front i will be seeing the horizon plane again as a horizontal line okay so this line will be representing our horizon okay so this is our horizon plane or in another term we can call it as the line of sight ls okay so till now i have drawn four lines first i drew picture plane then i drew ground line this distance was given the question it was 6 cm this distance was given the question it was 4 cm okay now actually this distance you can take any length you like or say you can take leave around 2 cm it's not necessary it's not necessary that you have to leave exactly 2 cm itself you can leave any distance i am leaving 2 cm so initially when you are drawing picture plane and ground line you have to leave a gap of 6 plus 4 plus 2 cm that means 12 cm you have to leave and then we'll be drawing the locus of station point then we'll be drawing the line of sight or the horizon we'll be drawing the top view we'll be drawing the front view okay when you are drawing this the picture plane should be dark the ground line should be dark the top view should be dark okay the front view should be drawn very lightly the projector lines also should be drawn very lightly okay you draw till this much 